Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Pythagorean Theorem. So what exactly is the Pythagorean Theorem? Well, it is a statement that says if you have a right triangle, or a triangle with a right angle or 90 degree angle, then you can use the formula a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared to find one of the missing sides. And so how do we know which side is A, which side is B, or C? It's very easy. So as you can see here, if you see the two sides that form the right angle, then these two sides are A's and B's. It actually doesn't matter which one you choose to be A's and B, as long as it forms the right angle. But the important thing to remember here is that the side that is the opposite to the right angle is always C. So this side is always C. And so in this triangle, we know that A is 5 centimeters, B is 12 centimeters, but we don't know what C is. And because this is a right triangle, we can use this formula to find C. So we know that A is 5, B is 12, 5 to the power of 2 gives you 25, and 12 to the power of 2 gives you 144. And 25 plus 144 gives you 169. Now, to solve for C, all you need to do is take the square root of both sides of the equation. And we're left with C is equal to 13. And that is our answer. So in this triangle, C is 13 centimeters, and don't forget to include in your unit at the end. Let's do another example. So in this triangle, we know that A is 1 meter, and B is also 1 meter. What is C? And so we can use the same formula, A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. And so A is 1, B is also 1, so 1 square is 1. Over here, it's the same thing. It is 1. So 1 plus 1 gives you 2. And to solve for C, we need to take the square root of both sides of the equation. And so we take the square root of both sides. And we are left with C is equal to the square root of 2. And if you put this in a calculator, it gives you about 1.41 meters. And that is our answer. So the length C here is the square root of 2 meters, or approximately 1.41 meters. How about this triangle? So in this triangle, we know that C is 5 centimeters. B is 4 centimeters. So what is A? What is this length over here? So, because this is a right triangle, we know that we can use the Pythagorean Theorem. Again, the formula is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And we know that c is 5, b is 4, and we're trying to solve for a. And so, 4 to the power of 2 gives you 16. And 5 to the power of 2 gives you 25. So to solve for a, we need to subtract both sides of the equation by 16. So we can isolate the variable a. So 16 minus itself gives you 0. And over here on the right side, 25 minus 16 gives you 9. And so a squared is equal to 9. Now. To solve for a, you need to take the square root of both sides of the equation. And so that leaves you a is equal to 3. And so this side of this triangle, a is equal to 3 centimeters. And that is our answer. Let's do one last problem. So in this triangle, what is length c? Now, this problem is a bit harder than the ones we've done. And so when I look at this triangle, 
in order to find C, we need to know this length and this length. And so we know that this is 4, but we don't know what this side is. Okay, and so I'm going to call this side S. Now, to find S, we also need to find what this side is. And I'm going to call this side X. So which one can we find first? Well, I'm going to solve for X because we know that this side is 4 and we know that this side is 5. So using the Pythagorean theorem, because we know that this forms a right triangle, we can say that 4 square plus X square is equal to 5 square. So 4 to the power of 2 gives you 16, and 5 to the power of 2 gives you 25. So this one looks familiar, right? So we can subtract both sides of the equation by 16. So on the left side, 16 minus itself gives you 0, and on the right side, 25 minus 16 gives you 9. And so we've done this before. If we take the square root of both sides of the equation, x is equal to 3. And so we know that x is 3 meters. So we solve for x. What is s? If we look at this, this whole side is 8 meters, right? We can take 8 minus 3. That gives you 5 meters. So we know that this side is 5 meters. And because we have these two sides, we can now solve for C. So again, using the Pythagorean theorem, we take 4 square plus 5 square, that gives you C square. So 4 to the power of 2 gives you 16, 5 to the power of 2 gives you 25, and 16 plus 25 gives you 41. To solve for C, we just take the square root of both sides of the equation. So the answer is C is equal to the square root of 41. And if you put this into a calculator, it gives you C is approximately 6.40 meters. And so that is our answer. C is the square root of 41 meters, which is about 6.40 meters. That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now, I would like you to try one yourself. So here we have a triangle. It is a right triangle. And we know that A is 1 centimeter. And down here, we know that B is 2 centimeters. So what is C? Find it and then put down your answer in the comment section below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. With that being said, I hope you have a good day and I'll see you guys next time.